Okay, so the continuity tester inside of a multimeter can be a very valuable tool to have to check to see if uh, components within a given circuit is uh, connected or to see if there's uh, a break in a wire or to see if uh, fuses are, work, are working or so forth. Uh, the continuity tester typically in a uh, multimeter uh, will have a symbol and I'll draw the symbol out for you. We'll typically have a symbol that looks something like either this, which indicates sound coming from it, or it will look sort of like a musical note or something of the sort. Okay? Uh, for this device here, the continuity tester, which is actually a continuity and uh, diode tester, actually has the musical note coming from it, okay, for this multimeter. And so in order to use our continuity tester to check devices, like I said, whether it be a piece of wire, uh, a fuse from a car or different fuses from a home or diode or uh, circuit board or proto board, prototyping board, uh, what you want to do is, of course, make sure that the dial is turned towards the continuity slash uh, diode tester. And you want to make sure that your cables are connected to your multimeter in the right location. Okay. In this uh, circuit here, you want to make sure that your black wire, uh, this is the best way anyway, make sure the black wire is connected to the... Uh, common and you also want to make sure that your red wire is connected to your uh, continuity tester in this case it just shows diode but it's a diode slash continuity tester so let's go ahead and connect our black uh, wire or test lead into the common as I indicated and we're going to connect the red wire or red lead into the diode slash continuity tester. All right. Uh, and again, make sure that the dial is turned towards the uh, diode slash continuity tester on your device in order to begin testing. For this device, it requires that I also push the power button in order for this to work. So I'll go ahead and push the power button and I'll move this paper out of the way. And you'll see that the continuity tester has that negative one that's on there, or pardon me, not negative one, but one with the musical note and the uh, diode on there. That indicates that it is in, it's set up to either test the uh, for diodes or for continuity. Some multimeters will require you to uh, push an additional button to choose between one of the two settings, whether the diode or the continuity tester, but this one will do it uh, for both uh, without any additional buttons being pushed after the power button is on and the switch has been turned towards the continuity tester. All right. So when we start working with continuity tester, one of the things that I like to do first is to just simply touch the two wires together or two, two probes together and you'll hear that noise coming from the continuity tester and that's just to say that you know it's uh, there's continuity between the two uh, probes okay and that means then that whatever you have there is that continuity again so let's start first with uh, let's say uh, this fuse right here okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to see if this fuse is good so if the fuse is good what we expect to hear is the noise coming from the fuse and that means that the fuse is a good fuse all right uh, so that's that fuse let's say we have uh, one from a car and this may look familiar to you this is a 10 amp uh, fuse from a car and we can check it by putting one of the probes on the on one uh, side here and the other probe on the other side and you'll hear again that there's that noise being made when the continuity when there's continuity inside so that fuse is also good now this fuse and i checked this before and this is for this fuse you'll hear nothing from it 
So that means the fuse that's in here, this is actually a bad fuse that's not working. Okay, or the fuse has been blown to be more exact. And so therefore there's no continuity between there and that fuse needs to be thrown away. So let's say now we have another uh, thing here. We have a wire. Okay, let's say this wire, and this happens pretty often when you have wires in areas that are high traffic areas or whatever, sometimes those wires can break. And if those wires break, then of course it's hard to check to see if the wire has been broken on the inside of the wire because they're usually covered by some sort of insulation. So in that case, again, you can use a continuity wire. And what I did was I clip the wire onto one, end, one probe here and then clip, I'm gonna clip the other wire here onto the other probe and you'll hear the noise being made again. So what this means is then that this wire is perfectly fine, okay? So that's uh, wires that we've checked up to this point. We've checked uh, a couple of fuses to see if those are also working. Now, inside of prototyping boards or breadboards, whichever name you wanna use, it's totally up to you. Uh, they're wired connections that are going across in the holes uh, horizontally okay there's wires that are connecting these different holes together and sometimes as the board becomes very worn the uh, connections uh, kind of uh, well they, they stop uh, working they're, they're no longer connected so it's always a good idea to uh, use the continuity tester in the case of troubleshooting and so this is an example of where you use it in troubleshooting. So over here, I have two wires that are in the same row and I can check to see if those two wires are connected. So that is indicating that the two wires are connected inside of the board. And so if I move the wire into a row, or pardon me, into a column, but in the same row, you'll hear again. So that means the two of those wires are still connected. But if I move that wire now to a different row, you'll notice that the con the the, the, uh, the continuity tester doesn't uh, ring at all. Okay, it doesn't ring at all. It does not ring at all. All right, so that's how you would check for continuity using a multimeter. So let's say for instance, you have a diode now and diodes are a little bit different. Okay, you won't get uh, the sound coming out of the continuity tester, but instead what you'd have to do is you'd have to look at the actual screen itself to see uh, if a diode uh, for one is good and then secondly to see if the diode check to see the direction on the diode and this here is a diode okay and uh, for diode if you're not familiar with a diode allows current to flow through in one direction and it does not allow it to flow through in the other direction the direction that it allows it to flow through is what's called forward bias. And what that means is, and let me go ahead and draw the diagram out for the schematic symbol for a diode. So for a diode, the schematic symbol is this. And current's allowed to flow through in the direction that the arrow is in, okay? So on this side, you have the anode. On this side, you have the cathode of a diode. And so if I have a higher voltage on this end, if I have a higher voltage on this end, then that, the voltage that I have on this end, what happens is that means then I'm gonna have current flowing through in this direction. As long as I meet a minimum threshold for a silicon diode, that threshold is typically 0.7 volts. And so since this the, the continuity tester slash diode tester is being used for four diodes also they make sure that the voltage that's actually passing through the continuity tester is at least that set 0 0.07 volts so that you can check it okay so given that that's the case then if we wanted to see which direction is which let's say and there's a black line that's on here that black line indicates the side that's the cathode okay so if I was to go ahead and now connect the red to this side, which does not have the black wire, and I connect the black to this side, you'll notice that a number comes up on the screen there, okay? That means then that there is current that's flowing through it, and this side is my anode, and this side is my cathode. If I was to turn this around, what you'll notice is that it shows up with that one that's on there, which means that 
the impedance or the resistance within this, this diode is extremely high in this direction. And so therefore this would be indicating that I'm actually in reverse biased. Okay. So that is how you would check diodes and continuity using a continuity meter or diode tester in a multimeter. All right.